How you doing? Randy Van Patten here with Vans Drumming here in the vault again. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about double-handed crossover. Uh, I had a request to uh, show my take of what uh, I do for a double-handed crossover and my pattern between the snare drum and the uh, floor tom. I believe Neil Pert has a video out there and this person said, hey, uh, take a look at this. And anyway, so uh, this is my version. Of course, it's not going to be the same as everybody else's but it's my pattern that I typically will use between the floor tom and the snare. Uh, or I'll also show you some uh, other options to bring uh, the other hands up to other toms. So uh, let's go ahead and get started here. If you take a look at my, uh, I believe it was a drum solo from back in 1991, um, back when I was a, a long-haired hippie guy, I actually uh, was doing the double-handed crossovers on that video as well. So let's go ahead and get started. <clears throat> All right, to the kit. Hello, way up there. How are you today? Back here behind the kit now, finally, where I feel more comfortable. Um, check it out. Here we go. This is between the snare and the floor tom. Uh, basically, uh, patterns, uh, crossover pattern. It's all singles. So, pop, 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 pop. That's all it is. Singles like this. Here we go. Singles. So basically, you're gonna take the singles and play them between the floor tom and the uh, snare drum, obviously, <clears throat> it's not gonna be, a, it is a straight pattern of singles, but I'm not just gonna sit here and go, you know, hey, let me show you the pattern, and then we'll talk about it in a minute. Okay, here we go. Uh, first step is to take your right hand, and it's gonna kind of do this little bump, 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 uh, between the two. So this right hand is always gonna be doing this little pattern just like so, okay? Between the floor tom and the snare drum. Crazy stuff, crazy stuff. Okay, so once we get that going like that with the right hand, we're going to take our left hand and complete the single, single over here with the left hand on the snare drum, like so. Now, let's take our left hand and get him involved. He's lonely over here, so he's going to actually uh, come over here, your floor tom, underneath this. Up, 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 up. But I'm not going to do a straight back and forth. Um, it's the pattern that I kind of came up with a long time ago that I've always done, and here you go. Here it is. So that pattern is basically the pattern. So what's cool about that is you can also, if you watch my triplet video with playing uh, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet between the bass drum, two hits, bass drum, two hits, bass drum, two hits, you can use that same pattern with that, okay, like so. Okay, so then you can do the same thing with the quadruplets. We've done quadruplet videos as well, where you're playing two hits on the bass drum, two hits on the drum. So 16th notes, right? Bum, bum, ba, ba, bum, 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 Correct? Are you okay? You remember those? If not, you can check out, check out my uh, quadruplet videos, double uh, quadruplet deals on the double bass. Okay, so that same exact pattern can be done here, like so.
So there you go. You can take that same pattern, uh, utilize it with triplet, utilize it with quadruplet, or make up your own pattern, because that's kind of the fun of this. So last but not least, last but not least, let's look at taking the left hand, this guy here, L, and instead of just playing him on the snare since and the floor tom, uh, you can play him uh, up here maybe. So your right hand is still going the doink, 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 doink. You like that, doink, doink, doink. So then your left hand can come up here and do the left-handed part between the high tom or whatever tom you got and the floor tom, like so. Yeah, guy. Notice you have to do a lot more of a reach but uh, you know because you're obviously crossing here at the same time so a little bit more of a reach versus when you're going here you know because here you're kind of just barely lifting your left hand up here you're kind of going here <laughs> so you have a chance of tangling sticks but that's okay so that pattern again left hand is doing the same thing it was doing it on the snare right hand still going doink 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 uh, here we go See what I'm talking about? Sticks can get all messed up. Okay, there you go. Thank you for joining me. Vans Drumming, Randy Van Pat here in the vault. Check out www.vansdrumming.com. You can still buy the download. You can still buy the DVD. It's still crazy. And I'm working on some more projects to uh, have some uh, uh, late breaking news coming soon. Anyway, there you go. Thank you very much. Double handy crossovers. That's my take on them. Have a great afternoon, evening, morning, whenever you are watching.